and the artist that I chose for my motion graphics presentation is one of the greatest black animators of all time. His name is Floyd Martin. He was born on June 22, 1935 in Santa Barbara, California. His passion for animation came from watching Disney films such as Dumbo and Bambi. He also attended Art Center College of Design, where he majored in illustration. Prior to working with Disney, Norman started working as an assistant on the comic book series Kathy King by comic book artist Bill Wagon for Archie Comics. In 1957, Norman was employed at Disney as an in-between artist for the iconic film Sleeping Beauty, released in 1959. Even though he was uncredited, but he still went on to create many movies while working at Disney, like The Jungle Book, 101 Dalmatians, Mary Poppins, and Sword in the Stone. He became the first African-American animator to work at Disney on a long-term basis. In 1966, Norman left Disney to create his own animation company titled Vignette Films Inc. along with fellow black animator Leo D. Sullivan, producing six animated films on the subject of black history. It became one of the first black-owned production companies for animation. However, in that same year Norman left, Walt Disney unexpectedly died of lung cancer. Years after Walt Disney's passing, Norman returned for a short period to work with Disney Studios on a 1973 animated film titled Robin Hood. After his departure from Disney Studios, Norman went on to animate several segments for hit TV shows such as Sesame Street. And in addition to that, he also worked for Hanna-Barbera Animation Studios, where he did layout animation for a series of popular animated cartoons. So there's the Flintstones, the Smurfs, Super Friends, and Scooby-Doo. <clears throat> in the 1980s, Norman returned working with Disney as a writer in the comic strip department at Disney, and was the last scripter for the Mickey Mouse comic strip before it was last published in 1995. He also worked as a story artist at both Pixar and Walt Disney Animation Studios, for the films such as Milan, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Toy Story 2, Monsters Inc., and Dinosaur. Throughout his extensive success and successful animation career, Norman has been recognized for his iconic body of work in the animation industry, as well as a pioneer and a trailblazer for breaking down racial barriers in animation and helped to open doors for so many black animators that we see today. At 87 years young, he still is doing animation, and he has published several books for cartoons inspired by the experiences of his career in animation, spanning over six decades. In 1979, he was inducted to the Black Film Writers Hall of Fame, and in 2002, he received the Windsor McKay Award at the Annie Awards. In 2007, he was honored with a Disney Legend Award. And in 2008, he received an Inkpot Award from the San Diego Comic-Con Festival. In 2013, he received the Sergio Award from the Comic Art Professional Society. And in 2014, he received a second Disney Legend Award. In 2015, he received the Fritz Verlang Award for Lifetime Achievement in Animation. And in 2016, he received the Legendary Animator Special Achievement Award from the African American Films Critics Association. And in 2018, he received an honorary doctorate degree in philosophy from Coswell Polytechnical College. In 2019, he received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Nationalist Cartoonist Society. Most recently, in 2021, he was inducted into the Society of Illustrators Hall of Fame. Here is a short clip of 
Magnificent, and three fairy god and the three fairy godmothers, Flora, Meriwether, and Fauna, from the nineteen fifty nine film Sleeping Beauty. Here is some of the sketches, some of um, Floyd, some of um, Floyd Norman's sketches. Um, one of the first, one of them is uh, from the Awful Jungle Book, which features, which features Mowgli and and Babu, and and another sketch, sketch of his is from Sleeping Beauty, which is based on a, from the movie of the same name. And the third sketch from sketch is. From, is Sully and Mike from Monsters Inc. So that's the end um, of my motion graphics presentation on one of the iconic Disney living legends, Legends. Foy Norman.